All right, so this is just a quick update on my section of lawn here that I seeded in October of 2022. It's about 18 months ago now. It's here all the way to about there. It's a little bit lighter color than my uh, other tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. But if you're looking for a durable lawn, that is drought tolerant. <coughs> this grass seed, the, the RTF water saver, um, I've never seen it wilt. Um, last summer, I was having some issues with my sprinkler system hitting in this area. Um, these areas were starting to check out, and uh, with this area, it just it looks exactly the same if you give it water or if you don't give it water. Um, it's quite impressive as far as it's. Uh, drought tolerance, heat tolerance, and it has gotten really thick because, uh, I'll tell you, I had some bare spots over here when I had first seeded this area, and I, th I think the key to this uh, grass seed, uh, you just gotta let it wait uh, for about a year or so to mature. Um, people are kind of quick to uh, give up on RTF that it's not as uh, as uh, aggressive as Kentucky bluegrass as far as spreading but uh, after about a year it seems to start to really mature and maybe just the roots start taking hold and rhizomes start getting a little bit more aggressive as far as uh, spreadability but uh, this stuff I'm only at three inches and yeah it's uh it's not the prettiest it's uh you know the let me look, show you some of the blades they're not i mean they're uh somewhat thin some of them some of them are a little bit thicker than others like here's a thicker so if you're like in the thicker blades uh as far as durability um if you're looking for a low maintenance lawn that's just but it's going to give you that uh traditional tall fescue look you know three or four inches you can i would mow it lower too you can mow it lower i'm pretty sure um two inches inch and a half maybe at the most and still hold a uh, decent color as well as not require as much water as say kentucky bluegrass this is a good selection and like I said, don't give up on it. It takes it takes at least a good year, I would say, before it starts to mature and then really start to engage as far as spreading. So I know people are concerned about wanting a tall fescue that isn't just a clump but can spread. And uh, this is uh, that's how it's looking now, 18 months. Very thick. It will not wilt. It it's got to be bone dry before it starts wilting. I've never seen it wilt though. Um, I wish there was a way that I could turn off certain sprinklers and then isolate the uh, watering to where this would not get any water. But uh, all I can say is sometimes in the hotter parts of the summer, I will get some wilting. Probably like over here and then over here all these edges um but this no <laughs> it will not wilt it will not die on you rest assured